What's up, everybody? I'm Shane, and you know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyways. You're watching the Treasure Train! All the first class miners are out here at 29 Palms a day. Got my little camp set up over here. Yeah, sorry for that bad Jeff Williams impressionation. I just thought it'd be funny. But yeah, this is my camp. Kitchen right here. My crib. Fireplace. I'm about to go do some work up here in the wash. Okay, it's time to make some repairs on my dry washer here. You see how it's ripped right here? And over here, and my pillows thing right there. That's the only thing holding this thing on here. That canvas, so I'm gonna fix it up a little bit. See what it's looking like? See how that plastic's broke? You can see my finger in here. That ain't too good, it's only hanging on by a thread, so I'm gonna fix it with some of this stuff here. Just thinking and thinking, what could I do then? Good old prospector told me, use some shoe goo on it. I was like, yeah, man, that's a good idea. Like, I'm a skater. So I already got that, so I'm going to try it out. Shoe goo it all up. It's all elastic-y, so should work pretty good. I just cleaned it all up. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to be over there in a second. We got this meeting set up over here at the First Class Miners meeting. I mean, this museum set up over here at the First Class Miners meeting. You guys know it. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but you guys know what I'm saying. Oh, is there gold in there? And see what's heavier. What kind of gold is heavier? And this is how much gold. A lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, David, that kind of looks like a little. Dad, there's a compass rose in here. What? Yeah, right here. This is the compass rose. It's called a dip needle, it says. Clothes basket, drill bits. Yeah, it's the 25th anniversary of the first class miners. The pen I got. A little panning tub set up here for everybody to pan. Some dirt. Put it in the shake water. Shake it. Shake, 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 shake. Then work it forward like this. Don't let anything out yet. Don't let anything out. Now bring it back and shake it again. Now tilt it forward. Tilt it forward slightly. No, no. Shake it, shake it again. Keep shaking it. Keep shaking it. You're still not letting anything out of the pan yet. Okay. Now shake, shake, shake. Get the right angle on it. It's the accuracy panning competition right here. We're panning out some birdshot. Put them in your mouth. How much bird shot they can find in 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. <laughs> we have 10 minutes. Go. One second's gone by. You better hurry it up. Come on, hurry that stuff up. See all the different panning techniques. <laughs> Remember, this is not only for speed, but accuracy. I got 14 already. <laughs> Where you lose. <laughs> Shove it in, fill it up. Just like this. <laughs> then when it's full, you will take this dirt way back out there in that wharf and dump it. No. 
Just kidding. What we will do is I will be here and I will level it out. Once you get it even with this top, I'll call time. Competition right here. Dirt goes in the thing. Taking it off is getting serious. Strapping up. 58, so we got 48, 58, and I got 108. So we got some good diggers here. Next time I'm gonna try harder. Man, I desperately need to get out of that hole I'm digging in. I found three little pieces like that. That one's a little chunky, but I definitely got to get out of the hole and try a different hole. I don't know if I'm just stubborn and don't want to move, but I'm moving this time. Okay, I finally found a spot with some gold in it. Not too chunky, but there's way more gold than there was in my other three runs. It's not looking too bad. I'm going to go hit it again. Okay, I got one nice little piece here. There's some other little stuff in here, too. I've been working the side of this bank. I need to go up there and show you guys, but I've been bringing my phone up there to film. I've been riding my motorcycle back and forth from camp all the way up to there, so... You can see some other little smaller pieces in there. I guess I'll keep digging. I just hike up this hill. I guess they call this a flat tire wash down in here. All kinds of mines and stuff through here. Standing one right here. They just told me, I think up here, there's a little cabin up here too. I got this cool little cabin right here. I think our claim just ends about right around this hilltop. And they're saying over here isn't claim. It used to be, but it isn't anymore. So you know what I'm thinking. Probably won't happen, but it would be pretty damn cool to have a claim out here. This is a nice little piece Dave just found. Some quartz on it. Really cool. Okay, so this is the little ledge I'm working in now. 
I'll go up there and show you the hole I was digging in. But yeah, see all these nicer rocks and stuff? That's what I need to be digging in. Probably gonna take this whole little nub out and then start digging down is what I'm thinking. And I know I'll have a fresh spot I know I've dug before. And I'm getting pretty good gold from there too. Just going up here and see my old spot where you shouldn't dig. All right, so this is the spot I was digging right here in this hole. And I found some gold along the side of the bank. Even someone else was digging in there and said they found a little bit of gold, but I kept digging down, kept getting worse and worse. I mean, I want to get a big hole going like these guys got. I'll probably show you guys here in a little bit, but that's what I'm going after. But I guess I'm just going to be working this bank down here by my dry washer. I guess. Yeah, these are the holes I'm talking about. This is the kind of hole I wanted to start down there. It just wasn't paying off. I mean, I don't find if I'm, mind if I'm finding a little bit, but there wasn't even a little bit, barely. So that's a good hole. So he's been working it for three years. Another windy night in the tent. At least I ain't an old rickety cabin this time. Good morning, 29. A little cold this morning. Starting my third cup of coffee here. Pretty sure there was about 15 of us around the campfire last night. Telling stories. Indian spots. We found around Indian spots and all that around this area. It's pretty cool. Learning a bunch from everybody. So this whole area. This is what we found out metal detecting just for two minutes. Old bullet. We found this key out over there by that flat tire wash by that old cabin. Just found this stupid thing. Okay, here's the last look at my hole. I'm over here talking to some guy about this layer right here. See that white stuff? He's saying, yeah, you're gonna see some nice black, small rocks and all this stuff. What do I call this stuff? I got some buckets here. This is my whole line of work I did. Dug into that and I'm digging down and into it. But yeah, I had a damn good time out here. I'm gonna have to show you what I, I got a whole bucket full of concentrates too. I need to go home and pan out too. So I don't know if that's gonna be in another video or this video, but you're gonna be seeing what it is. All right, I'm out here. It's not about having the gold, it's about finding it. Go find your own.